while they were eating them, they counted the distribution of color in each bag um, to see how many reds, how many oranges, etc., were contained, um, and also the total amount of M&Ms in each bag. And then by taking that data, I was then able to calculate the mean, median, and mode of uh, font-sized M&Ms, M&M bag, uh, and I compared that to Mars Inc., their information, which is the company that makes M&Ms, and what they say should be contained in a bag. Um, I'll tell you my results in a minute, but the most interesting thing to me was that they don't actually suggest that the bags will be evenly distributed with color, and also that bags will not contain the same amount of M&Ms. That's what I was under the impression of. Um, so Mars suggests that a bag will contain about 18 um, M&Ms per bag, which was pretty close to what I found. I found that the mean of the bags and M&Ms was 17.8, and the median and mode were both 18, so that was pretty good. But the color distribution, they suggest that um, there will be 13% red, and I had 18%. So there were a lot of differences in that. Um, and yellow, apparently, apparently yellow is really hard to make because they don't make yellow. And brown, there are no brown. It was 11% brown versus the 13 that they said. And I assume that people don't like brown. I like brown because it looks less artificial. I don't know. Um, and also. Fun fact, they only um, throw away bags that are way too little. So I found bags that had 22 M&Ms in them, 25 M&Ms in them, um, and then 18 obviously was the median. So, and you had some as low as 15. Um, yes, I did, but that was, that was a very, that was like one or two bags, I think. That